Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Sting here, bringing you a video today. And uh, today, uh, I got a... I was going to upload a um, Frag Nation match for this commentary, because it's about competitive versus public. But it was like 17 minutes long, and, you know, it was just like... Uh, I people, I, my rampants get more views, and it seems like people like to view the rampants, and they're shorter, and, you know, I think my channel is sort of built upon uh, rampants, and that's what people like to watch, so. Um, but if you guys, you know, want more clan stuff, uh, please just let me know in the comments, but, you know, uh, I got a 36-0 uh, here on Chateau, and I should have died, like, four or five times in this match, um, but I got kind of lucky. So it was a nice 36-0, um, and Chateau is pretty hard to get rampants on just because it's it's so, you know, sort of close quarters and, you know, lots of blind fire and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Uh, but yeah, the topic for today's video is competitive versus public, and sort of the differences and, the, you know, the positives and negatives of both, um, you know. Uh, and I, I really just wanted to sort of put this out there and, you know in order to create a debate on it or just to hear your guys thoughts and just sort of you know it, it seemed like a topic that hasn't really been discussed that much and uh, so I thought I could contribute a little um, so you know I feel like in my experience I mean I've you know played I don't know over uh, you know a hundred or to two hundred you know frag nation matches um, and you know so there's, there's a lot of players out there that have a lot more experience than me um, but I, mean, I, I played in a lot of scrims and stuff, and um, so I, I have some competitive experience. I mean, I, I'm still developing as a competitive player, so um, I'm not you know, by any means you know the authority on this topic. But um, I, I think I've I have enough experience to you know formulate an opinion. So um, I feel like the biggest difference between competitives and pubs is that. Competitive is really, really about the team, you know, like you, in pubs, it's sort of really about, more, you know, like you can lone wolf it, you know, like one player can carry the team in um, pubs, but I feel like in competitive, that's really, that really nev never happens. Um, it's, it's really about working as a unit and, you know, communication. And, you know, it's not about one player, it's about, you know, the team, which, which is cool. Um, which, is, which is what, you know, pubs are, are, you know, ostensibly supposed to be about. But, the, you know, they don't quite ma make it there because, you know, everyone has uh, our different skill levels and experience. So, um, it's typically about one or two players, like, carrying the team in, in pubs. Um, and, you know, there's tons of imbalances because matchmaking is so screwed up so um, in competitive you know y you really get the sense of a team and you know if, if, if there's one weak player or one weak link on your team it really affects everyone and you know it just becomes more of a team game which I really like um, so that's one difference um, you know in team deathmatch I mean obviously uh, Frag Nation is on, um, you know, Plunder, Team Objective, and Team Deathmatch. So, in Team Deathmatch, it, they are a little slower, a bit more campy, but there's there's also like a bit more in, intensity there. You know, like you're you're you know much more sort of into the match, but you know they they can become like pretty much camp fest. Um, you know, once two teams get set up, like, no one wants to move, and if you move, you really have to be thoughtful about, you know, working together and collaborating in order to, you know, get position on the other team. You know, if you just sort of run out, you know, you're just going to get mowed down. Um, so, uh, TDMs are campy, but, like, plunders and team objectives, um, they're really high intensity, lots of action, um, which I definitely love a lot. And um, so it's cool that those two game modes are in, you know, are part of the Uncharted competitive community. Um, but you know, in T 
TDM, it really becomes more about like um, chess than checkers, you know? It's like in pubs, it's more checkers, you're moving around, you can, you know, you really, there's a lot of movement, you're flanking, you know, you're, you know, just so, sort of playing free, freely. And then um, competitive, you know, it's, it's definitely a sl sort of more slower paced in, in TDM. And you're, um, you know, it's more chess. You just have to think it through and you have to really work together as, as a unit. Um, so, uh, you know, it's di different. I mean, some, sometimes I, I like just the free flow of pubs and then, you know, other times, you know, it's, it's cool to, you know, have this satisfaction of like really, you know, winning as a team and beating good players. Um, so, you know, there's positive and there's positives to, to also, the other thing about competitive is that, you know, in my opinion, you really haven't proven yourself as a player until you've sort of proven yourself in the competitive arena. You know, it's like, if I think of the, you know, top players in Un Uncharted, um, you know, they're not, you know, the top players on the leaderboards. They're players that have, you know, proven themselves um, competitively, you know, that have you know, won, won tournaments and, you know, have, you know, really proven themselves that they can play against the best. I mean, it's like, you know, you don't consider the best football players, baseball players, hockey players that have never played professionally. You know, like, it's just, it's just, you know, something that, you know, you have to sort of do to, you know, be considered the best or, you know, be be a top player is that you have to learn to play competitively and you know in competitive it really is a learning pro process I mean it's, it's like a totally different game mode um, it's just like stepping into you know online multiplayer for the first time um, except you know it's like a step above that so like you get used to the intensity of um, you know public online multiplayer it just takes time to get used to the intensity of you know, competitive online multiplayer. And so experience really matters. I mean, players, you know, do different things. They use different tactics um, that you have to get used to. You know, players in pubs move differently than players in, in competitive. So it, it really takes, you know, time to sort of learn how to uh, adapt to, you know, the competitive community. Um, you know, I, I feel like the, the experience of jumping online multiplayer in Publix was sort of, you know, like the same experience that I've had when I started playing competitive. It's just like, whoa, like this is intense, it's different, you know, I really have to sort of up my game. So, you know, it, it, and, and, and it takes time. So, I mean, if, if you haven't played competitively um, and, you know, you just jump into these competitive matches and you're just like, fuck, like this is, this is hard. And... Um, you know, it, it, that's just a part of it, and you just have to keep playing, and, it, and, and eventually, you know, you just have to analyze what you're doing and what the other team is doing, and you just start to learn how to, you know, adapt to the, you know, frenetic pace of, of competitive. One other thing that's cool about competitive um, Uncharted, at least on Frag Nation, is that, you know, there's rules, and there's no, like, bullshit, you know, there, I mean, there's, there's still bullshit, but there's... You know, it's toned down. There's no, you know, Cal 7. You know, you're never getting quick boomed. Uh, there's no blind fire accuracy, um, which is which is nice. So, you know, you're not experiencing the frustration of, you know, just constantly getting, you know, shit on with these so, sort of weapons that, are, you know, just are in, imbalanced. So, let me know what you guys think about <clears throat> this topic. Um... I'm gonna put a link in the description to Frag Nation just in case anyone out there has, you know, has an experience or doesn't know about Frag Nation and, and would like to sort of find a team and get involved in the competitive community. Um, you know, and it's intense at first, so you know, don't be, you know, intimidated. Everyone has to start somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description. So if you guys have any questions, um, please leave in the comments and just you know let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, it'd be great if uh, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.